Hey everyone, I'm here to help you set up your grid and your value scale um, for our stippling practice, okay? So as you, as you know, I asked for you to make a one by five inch grid with one inch grid lines. I'm gonna show you how it's easy to do that. You're gonna set up your ruler. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go kind of towards the top here. Now always notice on your ruler, it doesn't really matter um, too much in this case, uh, I said about one by five inches, but when using a ruler, always make sure you see where the zero line is. Sometimes it's on the edge of the ruler, sometimes it's not. In the case of this wood ruler, the zero line is right here. Okay, so I'm just making a little tick mark. Then I'm going to make another tick mark at the one, at the two, at the three, at the four and at the five. Now, before I move my ruler, might as well draw my horizontal line going across, okay? So that's the start of it. Now I want it to be one inch by one inch. So I'll line up my zero line to the line as best I can. And then again, make another tick mark. What I can do, since this is lined up, I can actually draw my vertical. I'll line this up again. Whoops, make sure it's as lined up as possible. Again, if it's not perfect, it's okay. Try and get to where I need to be. If I go too far or too not far enough, it's okay. Line it up on that last tick. Oh, kind of broke my uh, pencil lead. There we go. So that got a little messed up, but again, not the worst. Now these tick lines are my one inch marks. Line it up. So this is the first um, grid that I want you to do. You're gonna have light, medium light, medium, medium dark, and dark. Remember how close you put your dots so the light won't have too much, right? As you kind of get to each darker box, you're going to have them closer and more and have them have more overall dots. I'm not gonna bore you with making dots in, in there right now. I just wanna help you set up your uh, boxes. So that's number one. Number two, after you've created kind of just singular um, boxes of different values, what I want you to do is now make a gradual gradating value scale. So there's not kind of any stops. It kind of just flows. And that's going to be a little bit harder. And we kind of need to practice that. What I'm going to do though, remember I said one by five inches, this is one by five inches. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to take this. Oh my goodness, Miss Hedges. <laughs> these uh, mechanical pencils. And just make a line here. A little cheating never hurt anyone, right? It's probably longer than I need it to be, but that's okay. I'll make my horizontal. What I should have done is measure. Here's my one inch. Wow, it's pretty good actually. Just a little bit long. And again, like I said, does not need to be perfect. You'll use the non-metal side. That metal side of the ruler is really uh, doing a number on my um, mechanical pencil. There we are. So that's number two. And in this case, you're gonna go light to dark. Using the stippling. The last thing I wanted you to do was to create a sphere. And I said, 
around two and a half inch diameter. That is, I um, have a little circle, um, vintage hamburger glass. That is my boyfriend's, lovely, right? Um, and I measure the diameter of it. Let's see, let me get this in there. You can see that. And it is about two and, it's just under two and three quarters. So it's around the two and a half mark, right? Looks good. Make sure you don't do anything that's too small or too large. Too large, you're gonna be there forever um, stippling. Too small, you're not gonna real, really be able to um, show value changes, right? So I'm going to carefully trace around it. Don't tell my boyfriend I use his glass. <laughs> and not the most perfect. I can erase it. In the end, really, your pencil lines for this would get erased anyway, right? Because all, all you really need to see is, is the pen marks, okay? So one, two, three. Did I get that in there? Um, make sure you take your time with it. This is not something that you can rush doing. It's a layering process, especially when you start building to the darker values. Take a look at the samples that I have on that PowerPoint in the Files tab. And good luck.